So I focused on rugby, union and league. I have focused on Aussie rules and the AFL. Now I've thought, what can I then cross over to? Because when I went from rugby to, to AFL, it was the link, there was a link there I thought there was with the tackling and things. Now what link can I make from AFL to another sport? I am going to go with Gaelic football. I have no idea what it is and what it's about and how you play it. So hopefully this Gaelic Football Explain videos will explain. It explains the rules of Gaelic football. Gaelic football is an Irish sport. So it's Irish. I'm stopping it straight away because I'm seeing it's on a what looks like an absolutely ginormous pitch. It's got a goal like football, soccer. It's got posts like rugby. This is intriguing. Played with two teams of 15 players each. The game is played on a field that's generally a maximum of 145 metres by 85 metres. That's These are the goals, which are six and a half metres wide, and the crossbar, which is two and a half metres above the ground. Unlike in soccer, the posts extend above the crossbar, just like in rugby. The exact same goals and field dimensions are used in hurling. The which may be another crossover, hurling. The object of the game is for your team to score more overall points than the opposing team. To score, a player must kick the ball into the goal or over the crossbar. If they successfully kick the ball under the crossbar into the net, this is a goal and is worth three points. If a player kicks or fists the ball over the crossbar but between the posts, this is a point and this scores one point. So, this is basically AFL and soccer football put together on a rectangle but large field. So, you can score like in football in the goal and there's a goalie to stop it or you can kick it through the post like in, in AFL. This is like, it's like they couldn't decide which one they prefer, so we'll just do both. The game is played in two 30 minute halves for a combined playing time of 60 minutes. Oh, it's a short High score at the end of time wins. Any? They're also moving, they're also moving the ball like in Aussie rules as well, where they, it seems like they have to bounce it every, say 10, 15 metres, I think it's 15 metres in, in AFL if I'm right. Um, so, and they're also they're also palming it away like that as well, um, rather than throwing it. So that's the same as Aussie rules as well. A game that results in a draw must be replayed. Sorry, a game, a game that ends in a draw must be replayed. I'm going to assume that doesn't happen very often because like just randomly playing another 60 minutes, Wow. Wait, there's more, isn't there? Oh yeah, Gaelic football looks complicated, and moving the ball around the field is the most difficult part to understand. There's a lot of things you can and can't do to move the ball up the field in Gaelic football. You can move the ball by kicking it out of your hands, kicking it along the ground, and running with the ball in your hands, so long as it's not more than four steps. Oh, four steps. So that's almost like basketball, isn't it? I'm sure in basketball you're only allowed a certain amount of steps before you have to bounce it. This looks... So the thing with Aussie rules was I first of all I thought, I watched it and I thought, this is, looks really confusing. And when I first watched it, it was it was so easy to understand. I reckon this is probably the same where there's all these different rules, but as soon as you see it in a match, it's it's simple, you know, and, and it just, you don't even think about the rules. After four steps, you want to keep the ball. You must hop the ball off your foot to be eligible to take <laughs> another four steps. This is known as soloing and is the equivalent of dribbling in soccer. You like can also choose you. to solo the ball by bouncing it from the ground, but you're not allowed to do that twice in a row. Therefore, most players alternate between hopping it from the foot and bouncing it on the ground. A player can catch the ball with his hands in the air. A player can hand pass to a teammate where you slap the ball with an open palm. And a player can fist the ball where that's you strike what, the ball to a teammate with rules. a clenched fist. However, a player cannot touch the ball on the ground with his hands or lift it with his knees. And a player out. cannot throw the ball. There are 15 members of the opposing team who are trying to take the ball away from you so that they can score themselves. They are allowed to make shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder contact so long as the opponent has possession of the ball. 
or if no one has the ball, be shoulder to shoulder to the opponent near the ball. So can't really tackle They're like also allowed to use their hands to block shots or to knock the ball out of your grasp. If you're used to Australian rules football, this may seem very familiar, but there's a few other things that you'll need to understand before playing or going to a game. For example, free kick. A free kick is a restart in play, usually after a foul. If a foul football. occurs, a free kick is awarded either at the spot of the foul, where the ball lands after a foul, or the 13 meter line for fouls inside the 13 meter area. So it looks like it. So it looks like in the free kicks, you can either kick it on the floor like in football. Or you can kick it in the air like, like Aussie rules. It's such a mashup. It's such a mashup. A player has to declare whether to play the ball out of his hands or from the ground. Foul. If a player commits any of these infractions, hang on. Over carry or overhold the ball. So I assume that's when they don't bounce or, or do a keepy up. Throw the ball. You're not allowed to throw it. Hand pass the ball without a definite striking action. So you've got to punch it out your hands or slap it out your hands lift the ball off the ground with the knees that'd be quite tricky to lift the ball off the ground with the knees wouldn't it i don't know how you'd do that uh lie on the ball yeah bounce the ball more than once consecutively after catching it so you can't do like a double keepy up play the ball with the hands and catch it again before it touches the ground okay got you Striking or attempting to strike an opponent, teammate or match official with any part of the body or stamping on them. That makes sense. That's the same as football. Um, to bathe in a dangerous manner, same as football. A foul is assessed and the other team is awarded possession of the ball by way of a free kick. A player can also be cautioned with a yellow card, sent off with a black card, but a substitute may replace it. A black card? That's almost like what they're saying. And they've introduced in... Um, in the Rainbow Cup in, in, in rugby where they've got a red card, but if it deemed not too serious, then they come and come off, come back on after 20 minutes. That seems nonsense to me, but they've got a black card. Or a red card where you are sent off the pitch without a substitute replacement. That's penalty kick. serious thing. If a foul was committed on a player with a legitimate chance to score, a penalty shot will be given to the attacking team. The ball is placed on the ground at the 30 Same meter line then. and only the goalkeeper can guard the net. Just like in soccer, it's one kick only, and any goals scored count towards the overall score. Substitution. Now, I'm just thinking, if they're taking a penalty, is the ball a similar kind of weight and size um, and feel as a, as, a, as a football, as a soccer ball? Um, it looks like it would be the same. It looks like a, look, looks like a really old-style football, but it looks very similar, like an old mitre ball. A team is allowed to substitute up to five players per game. Very similar to soccer, the players must wait in the substitution area and players must enter or exit at the designated area only, and only in a stoppage of play. To the uninitiated, Gaelic football seems ridiculously complicated, but once you understand the rules, it becomes a pretty cool sport to watch. I think that's what if I'm you saying found this about video AFL. at all helpful, please like, share with your friends, comment, rate and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things and good karma is very much appreciated. If you're also on Reddit, you can post this video. Well, hopefully he'll appreciate me me reacting to this then. Um, this is this does look quite cool because so that was the thing that drew me to to Aussie rules in that it seems like a mashup of so many different sports and this is so similar to this is so similar to AFL but it's got more of a football more of a soccer um, feeling about it. Um, you know, similar sort of shape pitch looks quite looks a bit bigger than a football pitch. There's more players, but then you've got like where you've got to bounce the ball or do a keepy up like in in Aussie rules as well. Um, but I'm not quite sure how you tackle. Are you allowed to tackle? Let me know. Or are you just are you just intercepting? Let me know. But yeah, I'm going to watch some more Gaelic football. And I did hear, plenty of Aussies have told me that there's an international, um, there's a as an Ireland versus Australia international at Gaelic football and the Aussie players come and play. Um, so I'll definitely have a watch of that as well. That looks quite interesting to see how the Aussies manage to cope with a round ball um, and trying to kick it in a net as well. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know if there's any videos that look, you know, that, that you'd like me to react to, whether it's Gaelic football or Aussie rules or rugby or any other sports. Um, please let me know because it means that I'm doing what you guys want to watch, and that is the important thing for me. Um, but if you did like it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will catch you next time.